guys, we're so excited that we don't know how to act. It's been a good seven, eight months since we've been on a flight. Guys, so this is how we make grown decisions. <laughs> As you can see, it's cool. guys so here we are at the zip lining station so it's about 50 80 quite i think it's a one-way route you go swoop swoopity swoop um you sit on the chair it's not you know the zip lining i'm used to you know but hey everybody's into what they into <laughs> Saves you about 15 minutes, so about to get on this cruise. Wait, wait, I'm on the cruise? What? <laughs> so that was the plan. later we finally made it to the boat so we got on this boat yeah and there's a sign in chinese and english saying please wear your life jacket yeah there's no one enforcing these rules all right so these are the prices and you also have to give your passport to buy the ticket. So we scan our passport. We've made it to the entrance of the park. So once you keep walking down the long path, we did come up with to this intersection. So if we keep walking straight, we'll go to the Whipbrook village and the Bar Square. 
in the Janjajie Forest Park, there's many buses and shuttles that'll take you around the park. So once we kept walking down the long path, we did take a bus and that bus is going to take us towards the Avatar Mountains. Now made it to the ticket station. So 304 for four people. So as you can see, we are now in the cable car going and up. going up on a Thursday. So Ladies yes. and gentlemen, and to your right, we have some mountains. <laughs> Look closely or you'll miss them. This park is China's first national park and its pillars are also the inspiration for the movie Avatar, the blue avatars, not the bald headed one. Listen, if y'all don't want to walk, pay these men 100 quai and they'll carry you. to the elevator entrance. Once you came down to the KFC, it was a three minute walk to the elevator. Here we are. It is 260 for the four of us, so that is 65 kwai, guys. What the ticket looks like, we're about to get on the elevator. Hey, here we go. video, she's like, so, 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 and then, Since we didn't get in that first elevator, we waited about five minutes to get on the next one. We only waited because we needed a line to form in order to get in. I read a lot online that there may, may be a long wait to get on the elevator, but for us there wasn't and we went on this trip during the national holiday in October. So I do recommend taking the elevator from the bottom to the top of the mountain because it does get dark at the beginning of the ride and once you're getting near the end, you do get to see the views of the mountains. Once you get out of the elevator, you do follow this long path, and on the left or your right, depending if you're entering or exiting, there is a souvenir shop. 
So this is the view once you exit the elevator and go through that tunnel. Once you finish and you want to head down, you can either walk down 32 floors or take a right and take the elevator. This one's free, guys. So we first have to take a bus to the express cableway and then on our way down after we finish our trip we will take the mountain cableway it's a bit misty out here it's sprinkling how do you ladies feel how do you feel great how do you feel? i feel healthy once you get closer to the capable entrance, they will ask to scan your passport and ticket again to let you in. After that, you just take the escalators upstairs, make a right, and you are there. Lucky number 18, guys. Alright, so, whoa, it's going faster than I thought. Here's a view. <laughs> that you can't see. Yeah, it's kind of cloudy today. Um, wow, look at that. Anyways, we also <laughs> have the glass floor where you can see. Look at the 99 bends. Where? Which one? So we just got off the express cable car and we're heading towards the cave and stairway to heaven but it's so cloudy and it's like sprinkling out here so we're not getting much of a view yeah. we've made it to the stairs i think i might cry you know heaven. <laughs> Woo, those steps were a b-i-t-c-h Anyways, once you're done going up the stairs, you will have to get on the escalator. Well, that was the, the ticket that I chose. Go up the escalator. And the whole journey took about 20, 25 minutes. You just keep going up and up and up and up the escalator. So prepare for the ride. It feels like if I fall, it's all short. We're on the clouds, in the clouds. Once you get off the escalator, you will have the option to go right or left. If you head left, you'll be able to go towards a glass walkway, um, which is the first route we chose. I believe a garden, and it's also the route you need to take to take the mountain cableway down. If you do get hungry or thirsty, no worries. There is a convenience store that you can see to my left here in this video. They have snacks, chips, and water for sale. Once you get to the top, there are these bugs. You don't like looking... But not really. They get on your hair and your clothes. What? On the glass plank road, once you get to the end, they do take photos of you and you can buy them for 20 quai. Uh, Last walkway with the red shoes again. <laughs> there's a lot to see in Tianmen Mountain and different routes you can take. Um, but there's always, of course, stairs. You have to go up and down the stairs, turn left or turn right. So right now we're just on a journey to um, find one of the temples. This sums up our trip to Zhangjiajie. These are just some views coming down from the mountain cableway. If you have any questions about the trip or want any advice, please leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure.